Welcome to this video by Resident Tech Work. Today we're going to be looking at replacing your player character with a meta-human character in the Adventure Game Locomotion System, or AGLS. An important point to make here is that you should be using Unreal Engine 5.6 and AGLS version 16.1. This is because the meta-human system is meant for Unreal Engine 5.6. If you're using an earlier version, what I'm about to show you may not work. Before we begin, to make sure your engine has a required plugin, go to the Epic Launcher, where you see Launch next to the 5.6 engine. Click the down arrow and select Options. In the new window, make sure that MetaHuman Core Data is selected. If it's not selected, put a tick in the box, click Apply underneath, and let it download before you open your project. Before we begin with the browser, go to the edit menu, find plugins, and when you come in, search for MetaHuman Creator. And select it if it hasn't been activated already. When you tick it, you may have to restart the, uh, the engine for it to take effect. Now what you do here is entirely up to you. You can either download an already made model using Window and Fab. This is a model that I've downloaded previously. Um, you just select Add to Project and it will download into there. The alternative is that you can create your own um, character. If you right click in the browser down here and go to MetaHuman and MetaHuman Character, Rename your character and then open it. From here, you can change um, a variety of settings. You can also choose uh, the presets. You also have the options for changing the uh, body, head, the, and the hair. Um, you can basically change any option you want. Um, I'll go over here from Bruce um, with here and here. You can also change the, the face. Just give you some examples of the sort of thing you can do. Let's go to Sculpt. And if you pick one of these points, then you can change small details on the face. If we go down to here, what I'm going to do here is actually remove his um, his moustache and his beard. Just show you the sort of thing you can do. But you can you basically have the choice of almost any um, item on his face can be changed. Um, under the body, you can also change the shape of the body overall as well. Um, you can change the size of his hips, the legs, the arms. You can change basically anything anything you like can be changed within this meta-human system. Once you've finished creating your meta-human, you can go to the assembly page by clicking on the assemble button. Now you will see that it warns at the bottom of the page that the cart is not rigged. But before we deal with that, at the top of the page, under assembly, select UE optimized, and in quality, select high. For the other two, you can change them if you want, but I'll just leave them as they are. Now click on Create Full Rig at the top of the screen. You may get a message asking if you're sure. Just click Yes. Now at this point, the uh, MetaHuman system actually connects up to the Epic servers. So this does take a few minutes. I've actually increased the speed of the recording here. Um, but it, does take, it will take a few minutes to get through, so bear with it. Once that process is completed, um, you end up with your character uh, rigged. Now, this is where you would come in if you had downloaded a pre-made model from the Fab Store. Now, at this point, you did not have a model you could use in either Unreal or AGLS. To get that, first we have to download the textures required. So click on Download Texture Source on the top of the page and select 4K. 
Now again, this information is downloaded from the Epic servers, so it will take a few minutes for this to go through. I have increased the speed of this recording for that purpose. Now, once this process is finished, um, it's actually best if you click on the uh, like the hair selector there, and then come back to the assemble page, and that allows the bottom of the page to actually update and give me the assemble button. Just check the selectors at the top still say UE optimized and high, and then click on the assemble button. Again, you'll get this message. Um, just click yes again, and again it connects up to the the Epic servers and takes a wee file. Once this process is finished, you can close the MetaHuman window and return back to the main Unreal browser. Now here you'll find a MetaHuman folder, which if you open will actually have a folder with the name of the character you first created. If you double click on that to open the blueprint and then just minimize it back down again. Now, if we just go to our advanced locomotion, uh, blue, then blueprints, then character logic, and we're going to make a child of the ALS Manny character. And then rename it. We then want to drag that new character into our scene and delete the existing character and then click on our new character, search for possess and under auto possess, change that to player zero. And then open the blueprint for that new character. Now, when this opens, we still have the uh, blueprint built for the meta human. And what we want to do is copy the body element and take it across to our new character and put it under the visual skeletal mesh and come back to the metahuman and copy the face as well and take that back over again and put that under the uh, body mesh we then want to collect all of the facial hair elements of the head hair, copy that and bring that across and put it under the face. Now this may not come in underneath, no it doesn't, so just pull it back up onto the face and that will have it all in place properly there. Now if I open the viewport you'll see this results in quite a confused looking character. So what we want to do first is go to the visual skeletal mesh and change that to the body of the metahuman. Now for mine, it was ended in the words outfits. We then want to come back across and uh, actually open the construction script. And for the parent uh, string, if we bring that out and we're looking for um, set leader pose, we'll take the skeletal mesh one. Without. Well, we actually want to delete that skeletal mesh item there and bring in the one from our own list just to make sure that it's, uh, it's matching up correctly. Uh, we're actually going to pin that on to the new leader bone component and then come back across and bring in face and bring in the body and link them both on to the target pin of that set leader pose. Compile and save. Now, when we come back to the viewport, uh, you may notice that his clothing has actually changed uh, colour. This is something. This is something that does happen sometimes. All you have to do to remedy that is to come down and actually click these back buttons here, just these wee arrows, and that will actually take you back to the meta human clothing. And just save all. And if we come back to our scene and press play. You'll find that the metahuman now looks correct and plays quite nicely. The only thing is there's a slight glitch with the hair. This is something which seems to occur with metahumans. If you go back into the uh, character blueprint 
and select the hair elements. And then search in the details for LOD. Um, and then untick the include component in HLOD and tick the box for never call, never distance call. This does help a bit. Now, if we come back out and press play, you'll see that there it's slight, still slightly glitchy, but it's, it is better than it was. If you found this video useful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.